Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Christopher Rosewan. I'm a film industry concept artist and I just wanted to record this little intro to say a big thanks for downloading uh, this demo and just to kind of walk you through the kind of things we're going to be getting into in this, uh, in this, uh, in this demo. Uh, this is the set we're going to be building. I took a lot of inspiration from Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. It's one of my favorite movies and I wanted to basically recreate this, this um, corridor scene but using something that uh, was not the Overlook Hotel and um, it was also because I'd been watching a bit of uh, The Walking Dead and I really liked the opening credit sequence uh, there's a great shot of a uh, hospital corridor you know after all the uh, the drama had happened so I kind of wanted to do something like that I was I didn't want it to look uh, abandoned and desolate um, and desolate with all the uh, paint peeling off the walls and all that kind of stuff but you you know feel free to uh, to go there if you wanted I wanted to recreate something that was more like a few days after the accident or a few days after whatever had happened, um, maybe even a couple of hours. Um, so if you know my body of work, especially if you've bought any of my previous tutorials, you'll know that I'm mostly a hard surface kind of guy modeling a lot of mecha and robots. So this is my first venture into actually doing a set tutorial um, on, on its own. Um, I did do that orb silo tutorial which was just kind of um, uh, getting into it a little bit here but I just wanted to uh, build a real simple set and this is very very easy to produce using um, a mirroring and components basically in SketchUp which is a very very powerful tool and then if you have access to the SketchUp warehouse which is also a very very powerful asset you can then dress your set uh, with anything in there um, there's a lot of hospital gurneys, medical scanners, wheelchairs, a lot of equipment, but just for copyright reasons and uh, as an excuse to uh, you know, practice our modeling skills, I do actually demo how to build this hospital furniture in, uh, in one of the chapters. But if we bounce around the scenes here, uh, not that one. So we started at the end of the corridor um, and I had... A vision that we would be stood in shadow with all the fluorescence above us uh, broken and only the red exit signs uh, lit and that perhaps the uh, fluorescence down the end of the corridor would be open and it kind of gives you this sense of standing in danger and wanting to be in kind of the safety of the light a little bit so I wanted to create a little bit of a unsettling image and I knew that this hospital furniture would create some cool silhouettes against that light um, also, building this set in this kind of modular way it gives you the opportunity to actually expand the set, you know, for as big as you want, really. I mean, I knew I would only really wanted to get this sort of corridor shot, but um, you could uh, you could make corridors of corridors because this is a modular unit, um, kind of a bit like uh, Lego set roads. You remember those road pieces that had got the road uh, markings on them and you could just in interlink them wherever? I was kind of thinking of doing something similar to that. So we've got our straight corridor sections and we've got our crossroad sections, our little intersection where the corridor meets another corridor. Um, so if we go a little bit further up the corridor, I've done it again, I don't want that one, I want scene two. So we're just going further up the corridor. Again, so there's a repetition of dressing, although I do my best to try and make things a little bit more asymmetrical and I do get into that in uh, key shot where I fine-tune a bit of those things. Um, I knew there were some hero shots that I wanted to get certainly around the elevators here and uh, finishing with our end shot here. Now then jumping on to our other chapter. This is our props chapter. This is where I will walk you through modeling uh, this hospital furniture in SketchUp and I import in a section of the corridor just to refer to as scale and uh, using this I'm able to just freehand. I'm not really using any measurements. Um, I'm just scaling off this person and scaling off the doorway, going with uh, what feels right and just very rapidly producing these bits of hospital furniture. As I say, feel free to um, uh, utilize SketchUp Warehouse. There's certainly plenty of um, dressing to use there. So using the uh, geometry that we built in SketchUp, I will then show you how to import it into Keyshot, 
where we can start experimenting and playing with materials, finishes, and more importantly for uh, what we're after in this particular tutorial is lighting. Um, now, just playing with the lighting settings in here and switching a combination of them on or off, we're able to play with um, different lighting scenarios very, very quickly here. Um, this one, of course, being the, the hero, I say key, keyframe that I was after from the very start, and I think it works really well with us um, stood again in that pool of um, uh, in that pool of darkness, but we've just got this slight kind of red hue which I've put in behind us, which kind of echoes a bit of the uh, red glow from our exit sign, which I think evokes a sort of sense of escape, like you know we could escape if we went down this way. Um, turning these lights off, just just again kind of playing with that because once you've built the set, once you've applied the materials. Um, you know, you can just, there was so much coverage in the set. I was really sport for choice. You can, you can really play around with different combinations. Again, going a bit further down the set, I'll show you how to use uh, labels and textures in Keyshot to dress them on um, to, the, uh, to the materials themselves, creating these uh, sort of rather gory uh, blood splat marks. You can see our hospital furniture working really, really quite well. Um, Again, just sport for coverage. Really, you, wherever I put the camera, it, it looked like it was uh, it was uh, it was working really well. And I wanted to keep. I know I had some shots which were slightly um, off center against the wall, kind of using the rule of thirds. But uh, I wanted to keep the majority of them in this Kubrick inspired um, setup where we are using that strong one point perspective generated by this long corridor. And then, of course ending with our final hero shot here with our kind of aftermath of a mess uh, we've got here you know a lot of our 3d geometry but there's also a little bit of texture work uh, in photoshop just a subtle amount i also show you how to um, paint on something like this uh, um, because i didn't want to get into modeling a blanket in sketchup it's it's just it would be futile and, and not worth it so uh, that kind of thing is actually just easier to paint but i think this works really well as a scene. And then um, just bouncing a background back around the set, switching lights off, trying to create something that's quite spooky and evocative. I really like this um, this setup. I think this is this um, the lighting in this is really subtle and uh, we're making use of a lot of the textures on the walls. And again I'm going to show you how to do all that in uh, Keyshot. But I found uh, one of the important things was actually having to put less in rather than more, especially when you get into the, the subtleties of this. It, you know, it's very tempting to get in there with a color dodge brush and flare it all out, but trying to be restrained with these kind of setups is um, takes quite some doing and uh, often <laughs> I don't manage it. Um, so here are some of the, uh, the shots where we're sort of off center here and we're using the rule of thirds with our vanishing point being over on this side, balanced by a bit of drama here just again as as extra coverage as is this this is just using the depth of field setting within key shot um, I knew that I wanted to get some ex extreme close-ups kind of a little bit you know nodding to the Walking Dead intro uh, where they've you know employ really strong depth of field same as this one the, again these are labels applied in key shot with just a little bit of post in Photoshop so I think without further ado, let's uh, get into the tutorial and um, get started. 